friend, a creator, and I am just who I am. Okay, my name is Carolyn Gaines. My name is Paula D. Moore. My name is Dennis Lynch. Uh, I was born and raised in London County. I'm 58, I'll be 58 years old in March. And uh, I have a nice family. My name is Terrence Batson. I've been receiving behavioral health service services all of my adult life. I was first diagnosed with schizophrenia at the age of 18. Um, my mental health started, I think, I believe as a young child. I was depressed because of my environment. Um, if things weren't the way they should have or if I've, I've seen things that weren't really supposed to be. That depressed me as a child because when I went into Susie or Mark's or Lakeisha's house, I could tell that there was a difference. And when I went to my house, it was totally dysfunction and chaos. I had a nervous breakdown. I was going to a temple. I was working at Children's Hospital and working at LaSalle College. And I had a nervous breakdown and I wanted to walk in front of a bus. Mm -hmm. And that was very terrifying. I was doing too much on, on at one time. Mm -hmm. And it was too much for me. And my daughter, she got me over to a friend's hospital and on the boulevard. Mm -hmm. And she turned around and got me help there. But I really didn't get the help that I needed until I came here. Mm -hmm. uh, I had multiple hospitalizations. Uh, I went to college, but I wasn't able to complete college. Uh, because of my mental illness, I um, went into the United States Air Force and I had a nervous breakdown in, in there. In college, it started getting to me the most. I was having behaviors that and side effects and things that I was doing, symptoms that I was doing that classified me to have a mental health disorder. Um, and it started with not eating, staying in the bed, um, being very compulsive, just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning um, compulsively. If I saw, like, I would pick the rug with my bare hands. I, I swept at least seven times a day. Oh, I have racing thoughts. I couldn't get my thoughts together. I didn't want to be seen with anybody because I was feared they'd find out what, what, I, what I had a mental illness. Well, I was an alcoholic and drug addict at a young age. You know, I was living for it myself. And it wasn't very nice. I kept hearing voices, and the voices were telling me to hurt myself mm. and different things. And people around me, I thought they was making fun of me and talking about me and different things. Mm -hmm. And that's what led up to my, and I wasn't getting any sleep. I, I knew that if I didn't seek help, then even with my suicide thoughts, I would have been a goner. And what brought me here was, was my um, being like a recluse in my house. I couldn't go out. I couldn't enjoy going out with other people. And um, it, made, it made me like a shut-in. People would come to the house and I would say, no, I don't want to see anybody. So they recommended me to come to, to a program so I could get some help and I could be out of the house. And while being here, I met to, I, I, I ran into friends I made, and I, I started talking with them and going places with them, and with Natasha and all them, and it really got me going, and it got my mind going. I wasn't thinking in like weird ways, and, and my thoughts were connecting, and I really felt well about myself. Natasha and I, we got along real well, we work with each other. I'm sure she she taught me a lot. I'm sure she learned from me. And uh, she taught me about? to get out in the community, do things on my own, and observe everything around me that I like. What I don't like, I don't have to accept. Okay, 
Okay, me and Natasha would go out every week. We would go to the library and look up places to go, parks and stuff. And we would, we went to um, one of the parks, Dilworth Park, one day, and they had a concert going on. And we went, we got something to eat and and soda, and then we watched a concert and came home. My godmother, she came into my life. She was an angel sent to me, and she introduced me into the community. How. I'm I was to give back and kept my mind busy and occupied in a positive way. Uh, another thing I like to do, well, one thing I used to like to do when I was younger was I was I felt very creative and I used to write song lyrics and poems. Singing played a big part of my life. Singing saved part of me. Lyrics of songs really spoke life to dead areas in my life. I draw portraits and I paint watercolor. And where do you do this? Whenever I can find the opportunity to do it in the home. Or any place else. I used to draw rock star face and pencil. Our community, getting out in the community, going to church, different places, uh, going out with my peers mm -hmm. and different people so I can turn around and try to be as active as I can normally be. And I met this one girl who has the same problem I did at church. And it was Palm Sunday and we talked to her and she said, yeah, um, I come to church even by myself and I meet people who, who want to be my friend. And another thing that I do is I'm very involved with a church. Uh, back when I was uh, having some difficulty back around 2003, you know, I, I had a battle with active addiction again, and I went back into treatment myself. And in the, in the process of doing that, I was at a facility where the owner of the facility was a member of a church, and he made it mandatory for the people who lived in the house to go to the church. I went to this church, I fell in love with it, you know, I loved it, and I just continued to go. You know? I learn something every day when I come and present things to the class and, and the community meeting. Mm -hmm. Because like you learn something, you know? Yeah, you do. You're never too big to learn. Now, since I come here one day a week, I'm beginning to get my freedom back to help me get out and going to the wild, got me out going to swim and got me doing um, groups at the little wild, going to the group. Now, I'm going to start it this weekend. Now, I have friends here that come over my house and, um, and they, they said, I look better and I act better and I, I'm more focused. I've learned not to look down at a person and thinking you're better than them because you're not. Right now I'm at to a point, I have a title each year that I had to change. Learned I got to change each year. That's a title. Now I got to think of this year, about I got to think about another title for January. I can hear. So what's this year's title? This year's got to change. And I've come a long way since then. I've been reaching out and branching out. And I've learned through me and others to reach out and help conversations and friendships. And even have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So what's it like to have these new relationships? and? They're, they're like gold to me. You never know how, how, how much I profit from coming. I believe that when you have things to do positive in a community, you have a positive outcome in recovering with your mental health. Every day is a challenge with your mental health, but if you challenge yourself to find what you can do to make it better, I believe you have a better chance in life and you can make it through.